Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be ranking every single channel orange song um, So this came from a request from one of my last videos. So I'll put that up on the screen shout out to this guy um, Now I did um, a ranking for all Frank Ocean songs But he wanted to see just channel orange so I can go a little bit more in depth with each of my picks And so anyway, there's 17 tracks on channel orange, but I did not include um, Start or the two interludes uh, not just money and fertilizer I did include the outro and no, which is where we begin at number 14 with end. Um, I think the full version of this song is phenomenal, phenomenal, which um, it's called Voodoo. If you don't know, um, you could find it, I don't know, on like YouTube or SoundCloud or something. But um, the version that released isn't necessarily bad. And I think it's really nice to listen to in the concept of the album. Um, but it's not a version that I go or it's not like what I go back to and listen to often like if I'm gonna listen to this song I'm gonna listen to the the unreleased full version um, and moving on to number 13 we have white uh, it's an instrumental with John Mayer and uh, it serves as like a serene interlude on the album providing a moment of reflection amidst the emotional intensity of the preceding tracks and I mean it's just beautiful I thought about really not including it because it's not really like a song you know but I mean, it's still beautiful. I had to put it on. It's something that I genuinely do listen to. Uh, at number 12, I have Pilot Jones. Uh, this is kind of like the first real song, I guess. Um, and it shows Frank's like kind of mixing R&B and electronic music. And while it isn't a bad song, I just don't think it holds up to the other songs personally. And at number 11, we have Sierra Leone. On this one, uh, we are presented with a dreamy atmosphere and ethereal production um, and honestly on many other artists albums this could be the best song but it just so happens that Channel Orange is like an extremely good album so it ends up here at number 11 uh, and moving on to number 10 I have Monks um, Monks is kind of like a departure from the album's overall vibe you know it's got kind of the upbeat tempo and an infectious groove it's a an addicting song that I come back to constantly and honestly I didn't realize how underrated this song was until you know a while ago I saw someone like rating Frank Ocean songs they had this song pretty low and no one really bad and batted an eye and I was like wow like I don't know I listen to this song all the time like every summer it's back in my rotation um, and even in the winter you know I come back to it as well but moving on to number nine I have crack rock now this one could probably be higher but I don't know, there's just so many amazing songs. I mean, Crack Rock, you know, we see this, it delves into kind of like a gritty subject matter with a blend of poignant uh, storytelling and introspection. And I mean, it's a phenomenal song. I think like, honestly, every song on this is probably nine out of 10 or higher, to be honest. Um, going on to number eight, we have Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump, uh, it stands out for like its unique lyrical theme. Uh, drawing parallels between the innocence and simplicity of the film character and the complexities of love and I mean come on It's just a beautiful song At number seven I have sweet life um, It's a breezy and infectious track that celebrates hedonistic uh, pleasures of youth and wealth um, And it's a song that's never really gotten old for me like since the first time I heard it It's kind of just hung around in my playlist At number six I have think about you uh, it captures the bittersweetness of unrequited love. Its minimalistic production and haunting melody provide the perfect backdrop for Frank's heartfelt lyrics and emotive vocals. And I mean, come on, it birthed the potato flew around my room meme, so that's got to give it some extra points. And cracking into the top five here, at number five, I have Bad Religion. I mean, it's a beautiful ballad. It displays Frank's vulnerability and anguish. And it's an absolute timeless song. I'll probably be listening to this song for the rest of my life. At number four, we have Lost. Uh, this is the song that put me on Frank Ocean. So, uh, you know, a little bit of bias there. Um, but I mean, it's great. It's addicting and catchy. And it just kind of embodies the carefree spirit of youth. Um, just absolute phenomenal song. And now top three, these are like absolute perfect songs. At number three, I have Super Rich Kids. Um, and Super Rich Kids is, you know, about what it sounds like. It's super Rich Kids, you know, there's youth, privilege, and disillusionment in contemporary society. And I mean, Earth, Earl Sweatshirt has a future on this, and he absolutely kills his verse. Um, and I mean, Frank Ocean on it, obviously, he does his part as well, and it just makes for a great song. 
And at number two, I have another collaboration song, uh, Pink Matter. I think this is one of, if not Andre 3K's best features ever. And on top of that, Frank Ocean kills it as well. So, I mean, that's the recipe for an absolutely amazing song. And at number one, I'm sure you guys know what I have. It is Pyramids. It's a nearly 10 minute song and it's great the entire runtime, nearing perfection. Honestly, I would say this is a perfect song to be honest. Um, Frank shows off his storytelling and prowess and musical versatility on this. And it's honestly one of my favorite songs of all time. And so it cracks the number one spot. So let me know what you guys would change about this ranking. And um, also I think um, the guy who requested this also requested one for To Pimp a Butterfly. So I will be doing that soon. And um, leave a comment if you'd like me to do this for more albums. Um, instead of just doing it for artists, I do albums or um, if I do it for specific albums, you know, I can go a little bit more in depth. So yeah, definitely leave a comment, uh, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.